popular one known as Mary Beers to start on a Streamlabs window. But anyways, in this video I'll show you how you can make the scene and MD. So first you want to take a look at your PC if it's x64. You want to download this, but if it's x86, you want to download this. But if it doesn't work, you need to download any of these that, you, that you're missing. And now you want to download Miku Miku Dance um, Effect, which has two of these files. If you have a 64 bit PC, download this. If you have a 32 bit, just download this. It's really easy. Now, if you're done with that, you want to download Ray MMD. Right here, download the zip file. Now, download the SVDOF and then extract the file, extract all the files, and download the Light Bloom. Click on Code and download zip right here. Then extract all the files, and then you will see these files, which you know, my files, my Light Bloom and SVDOF will be in the shaders folder. It will be in my shaders folder, but you know, just download the files. Ray MMD. You just want to place it anywhere, just place it all in the same folder, but I'm just trying to make it organized, so it will be right here. Now let's install MM Effect into MMD. You want to double click on it, select through these files, click on copy, now just paste it right here. But I'm not going to paste it because I'm already done with doing it. And then you want to go download some MMD models, which, you know, you can use... Anyone you anyone you want to search up MMD model something like that. Now you can go to DeviantArt. I just select any of these, but since I'm using um, Genshin Impact MMD models, so you know I will also link this whole lot page in the description if you guys want to make you know Genshin MMDs and stuff like that. This will have all the MMDs. Um, if you want to download Genshin MMDs, you just need to click on the link and then just find um, the character icon and download it. So you can see right here will give you the MMD file with the zip file and then extract it. And that should work. Okay, now let's open up Mikumiku Dance. Now, if you install it correctly, there would be MM effects here. Well, let's go to models. I'm going to import it because you call models right here. Um, for the model file extension, it will be .pmx or a pmx file. Just drag it in. As you can see, now it's done. There we get this. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to animate an MMD for right now, but if if you guys are going to import any motion files, you want to download the motion files, which all YouTubers will put in the description. I'm using the specialist. Just drag that in. Now it will freeze. This is normal. It will freeze. It will crash. It will be normal and then you want to wait and boom, you already got it. Got the motion. Now then you want to you wanna put in the music, which MMG only supports WAV files. Go to the last frame. First frame. Start. Boom, it works as you can see. But right now it doesn't look good at all. And other thing is you can also put in the camera motion. Uh, uh, you need to also read the rules. Uh, don't forget to credit him too, which I will also do that. Let's see, now we take a look. Boom. We got it. But now, it looks very bad, right? It looks bland. It just looks bad. So, the next thing that we want to do is open up the Ray MMD folder. And then, you want to import a Skybox. So I'm using the Sky Hemisphere. And right now it just looks 1% better, but if you switch back it just doesn't look better at all. But anyways, import into Rayx. And just wait. Now everything would look a little bit weird at first. 
But anyways, go to MM Effect, go to the main, go to your your model. Now you want to go to the AMMD, and now go to main. Double click on main, it will look bad like this. But trust me, it will look better later. Now go into env environment, light map. Now go to um, the skybox, I think. And then go here. Uh, I mean, wrong one, wrong, sorry. And then you want to go here. And then first. You click on skybox with lightning. And now you got it. And that, that's just the wrong one. You can just disable that. And now this looks a lot better. This looks more like an MD. I think the camera doesn't work, so let me just you know, just delete all of them. Let's go back here. Uh, it should work now. Yeah, it works as you can see. Um, another thing is. We're not animating, so you can just disable that. Boom, it's done. Now we have some beautiful lighting. And for other effects, you can also add it. Now let me show you how. Um, so first, I'm going to import in the stage, which the stage I'm using in this video will also be in the description. I'm using this stage though. The stage right here. Looks really good. Um, I just want to drag that in. But now it looks really bland, it looks really really bad Because we haven't added other, other stuff yet, so it will look like this So now let's go and explore the magic of MMFX Just load in the accessory manipulation and stuff like that Go to the shaders, I mean just open up the SBTOF And boom, now you have yourself a very good looking Death of Field effect now it looks a lot better right now, but you haven't have that glowing effect, which just looks really amazing. Just want to import this in. Now import the motor manipulation. Go to just just import in the .pmx file of the light bloom. And right now you can increase the bloom torso threshold. No. Get this gl cool glowing effect. You can also just do like this. Now, boom, you just got yourself a very good looking MMD. Now, if you're clicking play. Now for rendering, you want to go to render to AVI file, so that then just name it, name this. It's like a frame rate, and go to video compressor. For the best quality, you want to use AVI raw, but if you want just a normal quality, you want to use MJPEG. But personally, I would recommend AVI raw. But rendering a video will take a lot of space, so you want to keep that in mind. Anyway, guys. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a nice day and bye bye.